Are you ready to unlock the secrets of running a wildly successful YouTube channel without ever actually showing your face? Imagine the freedom and the flexibility of running a thriving channel, all while keeping your identity hidden and generating substantial passive income. Does that sound interesting? Or you don't want to miss a moment as I'm going to give you the blueprint for creating a highly successful faceless YouTube channel. So let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do is leverage the power of AI to make a YouTube channel. Now, why do we focus on YouTube? Well, first and foremost, because it's fast. And second of all, if you use the strategies I'm going to show you today, it is very easy. If you've been following my channel for a while, you see that I started off my little pet project here for demonstrations called javafinder.com. If we scroll over to the website, I have been generating some AI automated content for quite a while with uh, a human touch as well, because I don't think everything should be 100% AI, but this takes time. You have to create content, blog posts, you have to do links, you have to do social media. It can take time to actually start seeing passive income coming from a project like this. So in the meantime, what we can do is put together a YouTube channel, which will grow way faster. You could use other types of social media as well to generate very fast traffic, to take that to the website, to increase sales and so forth. But also we can generate passive revenue right off of the YouTube channel. How do we do this? Really simple. So first and foremost, when we do things like product reviews and so forth, we can put affiliate links in the description, in the comments. People will go check out those products and we can make affiliate revenue. Additionally, over time, as the channel continues to grow, it can monetize when you hit the uh, thresholds inside of YouTube and you could start generating money from ads. There's a lot of videos online that show you how to do this. Some of them are not being completely honest, so I urge you to stick with me here. We're gonna go through this. Before we get rolling on creating a channel, you need to have a niche. A niche is simply the area or the uh, topic that you are going to be discussing on a channel. Now, one of the mistakes that are oftentimes made is people not choosing the right niche. They don't get great results. And of course, they don't end up making any money out of it. So I'm not gonna go over completely how to select a niche. There are a lot of videos on this, but I do recommend that you pick a niche that you can eventually make a lot of content on. Imagine this channel of yours that you're setting up is going to be around for years. And if you're gonna have a video uh, channel uh, for years, you're gonna to need to have lots and lots of content and you're gonna to need to have a lot of ideas. When you select a niche, you can go big, such as health, beauty, et cetera, or you can niche down really far and you can go down into gaming hardware, or you could pick a niche like mine, which is Java, which is basically all things coffee. I could talk about coffee, I could talk about espresso, I could talk about a lot of different types of content. I could talk about reviews of certain coffee makers and so forth. So make sure that you select a niche that's going to give you a lot of opportunity to create content. Now, the last thing that I'll say about this in selecting your niche is don't procrastinate too much. Some people never get going. Pick something and get going. As you're gonna find, it's free to set up a YouTube channel. You can create most of this content without too much fuss. And if it's not working out for you, you just pick another one. And also you'll probably have multiple channels going at the same time, especially when you see how quick and easy you can do the process of creating content. And the next thing you're gonna to need to do is to set up your YouTube channel. So this is really easy. I'm not gonna go through all of the individual steps on how to do that, but there are a couple of key pieces that we need to deal with. Number one, we need to have a good logo. So you can, for this picture here, you can use free softwares such as Canva or Microsoft Designer, or of course you could step it up and go into Midjourney. Created this one here with Microsoft Designer using some basic uh, cues. Now up here, we used a channel banner. We need to make sure that we have the right dimensions on there. I'll include those in the link below, but just something quick and snappy, and you can see the consistency of the brand. When you go into the about section, in the beginning, it's very important to understand that YouTube needs to understand what your channel is about. So therefore, keywords become important. So here in the beginning, we need to recognize, of course, I put the brand name in here and it has some information regarding coffee, reviews, brewing techniques, etc. These are keywords. And this was generated using ChatGPT. So all I did is drop in there and say, give me a SEO optimized description for a YouTube channel with a few additional details. And of course, we create a link right here on the about page going to our website if you have one. There is an area on the site here inside of the customized channel section where you do wanna put in 
tags as well. And the tag should be SEO optimized to make sure that uh, we're sending proper signals to YouTube on what this channel is all about. The next thing we wanna talk about is what type of content to create. If at all possible, it's nice to get a huge list of content and you can just start working through it. But of course, you're gonna to need to course correct as you go. You can see here that I generated two videos. I've done a video on this previously. Down here was one type of video with this AI generated avatar, which uses a software called Pipio. There are a number of others as well, but be sure to check that out. Up here, you see that I've experimented more with just trying to create shorts videos because I wanna see how these perform and how people respond to them. And you can see that right away on a brand new channel here, we're able to actually generate far more views in shorts than we are in those general videos that we post. So this is pretty common. So I do urge you to actually jump on the YouTube shorts game to especially start getting more eyes on your videos and your channel. You can see here that I started off with some short listicle type of posts, top five summer coffee drinks, top five espresso drinks for summer, et cetera. And just going through here, these are quick and easy consumable pieces of content that tend to do well. Every once in a while you get ones that don't work. For example, you see here, alternative ways to sweeten your coffee that only got 13 views. YouTube did not wanna show this one for whatever reason. But if you go over here, you see this one, five fast caffeine facts you probably didn't know. This one got a thousand views. So you never really know. We're oftentimes just pushing out content and whenever we find something that seems to work, what we wanna do is look at the structure of what we did and we wanna double down on that. So this could be as simple as taking this one here where I said five fast caffeine facts you probably didn't know. We jump right over here into ChatGPT and I basically said, you know, give me a list of 20 potential video ideas using that as an example. And it came out with a bunch of additional topics they're all number-based, tips, eye-opening facts, lesser-known alternatives. These are gonna be the ideas that I'm gonna use for some additional videos. This is the kind of content that I'm going to begin with to just start getting eyeballs on videos, but you can certainly also create different types of videos information like I did put in here that produce the best coffee beans. You could talk about things like how to actually make the best coffee, et cetera. Those are all different options. And also we're gonna start working into product reviews. Product reviews have a lot of potential because obviously when people watch review videos, they're already in the mindset of wanting to look for and purchase products. And then you can include your affiliate link below and people will go buy that product. So a lot of different types of content that we can create. All right, so now we need to move on to the topic of creating the actual content. Now there's a number of ways to do this. There's video editing softwares out there and so forth. The problem with these predominantly is cost, the learning curve for learning how to use these things, and also the lack of integrated stock videos video, images, and audio. This can all be integrated and combined into a simple software, and that's where NVIDIA really shines. So this type of software here, it's all online. There's nothing to download. You can create these pro quality videos in here. There's a lot of templates. I'm gonna show you how to do this, editing tools, and particular AI-based tools that are gonna really make this super fast. Now, of course, you can also record voiceovers for your video, or you can use the AI to automatically integrate reading all of the text in your videos and including your music as well. NVIDIA is just about to launch a fully AI generated video creator. It is absolutely ridiculous. It is on the wait list right now. You need to make sure that you get on this, but here's a quick sampling. A giant bubble wrap soon, you'll see, will protect you from gravity's glee. Imagine creating these types of videos with just a simple prompt using AI. It's absolutely insane and it's gonna completely change everything and make it much easier to run these types of YouTube channels and build your passive income. So be sure to check out the link below. I'll go ahead and include that along with a special offer and you can even try it for free. All right, so when you get inside in video, there are a number of different options. We can actually create a new video from a template where these are already kind of custom designed and we can go in and just change the text. We can of course go over here and check out all the stock media. So just peeking in here into the stock media section, there are literally 8 million plus images, videos, and so forth for you to use in your AI generated videos. This is a complete no brainer when you consider that these stock sources are coming from things like iStock, Shutterstock, et cetera, and Storyblocks. 
these softwares would cost you in excess of $100 a month at the amount of images and so forth that you're gonna be using to make your videos. So I do recommend that you don't stick with the free level. You're not gonna have as much access to this. Make sure that you upgrade to the premium level so you get all the best images and videos and it is well, well worth the price. And of course, I've included a discount coupon down below and a link of this video, so make sure you take advantage of that. Okay, so let's go back to our dashboard here. And of course, we could just do pro video creation editing, all awesome options, but I am gonna start with over here, which I think is the absolute fastest way to do things called AI text to video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and I'm gonna pick a template that I want. I'm gonna use this one right here. So when I click on this, I'm gonna click on portrait and then use the template. Especially when we're talking about making YouTube shorts, we can of course go over to ChatGPT, we can type out our script. There's no problem with that. You can modify it to your liking. So this is much faster if you were to just go in here and let AI generate the script. So I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna type in five surprising facts you didn't know about coffee. All right, so in here, now it's generated the exact script that we want to use here, and we can actually use the auto-suggest images and videos. So you have a couple of options on here. You could use just the free ones if you have a lower level, or if you have a video you don't want to use the premium and the iStock images for. I'm just going to go ahead and select both of these and then create the scenes. All right, you can see that the scenes have been generated, and one of the things that I do right away is actually go in there into this corner and insert my logo, and it will be inserted on all of the individual scenes. It now has text over the top of every scene, and it has a background media layer. Now, when you scroll through here, a lot of times it is picking a background based upon some keyword in this text right here, and it may not work. So clearly here, it's actually picking caffeine pills, and I actually don't wanna use that for this one, so it's really, really simple. We can go over here to the images, and we can pick whatever we want in here. So I can actually pick coffee and select that. I could also use videos as well if I want this to be a video and not a static image. And then all I have to do is to just add this onto the canvas and it will do that. And then what I can do is I could just resize it, reposition it into the background. There's a lot of different things that we can do here. Okay, if I only want this to be this size and then put some text above or below anything else, then I can absolutely do so and then just use the software to edit everything to my liking. So when you get all the way down to the bottom, of course, you wanna go through all of those and make sure your images are optimized. Okay, I just wanna show you quickly also how to deal with the audio situation. So we're inside the editor here. There's two things to do. We can deal with music, so you can select this over here on the side and you can see that there are a load of options. So there are different classifications here and look at the number here. Like we've got 3,713, we got 9,000 of these. There's just an infinite number of variations that you can use. So we can just add whatever music we want and that'll drop that down here into the timeline. And then the next thing to deal with is the voiceover. So as we click on that, we're gonna use automated text to speech. And over here, we have different options here. Legacy, we're obviously gonna be using the realistic, which is the new one and we can select uh, languages. There are a number of different options you see here, and we can select the voice, okay? So there are different men and women voices here, and then we select generate voiceover. Now, I already did this here, but a little box will sh uh, jump up over here where essentially we can just apply that to every single slide and it'll do the work for us. And so once we've added in the music and the voiceover, this is what it sounds like. Coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world, Coffee beans are actually seeds from a fruit called coffee cherries. You can hear how incredibly better the uh, AI generated audio voices are now these days. They used to be really choppy. They're so much better with NVIDIA. They're just really, really doable in terms of, uh, especially if you throw a little bit of music behind the background, it sounds so real, it's fantastic. So that is all we need to do here. Now, when you go up here to export, of course, we have the dimensions, nine by 16, but of course, we also have wide and square. I don't wanna hit these because it's gonna change the dimensions of my project, but we can export. Now, when you export, very important to note, with the free level, you have the 720p, but with the upgraded, when you have the premium and you're a subscriber and paid, you get full HD video. The other thing to note here, by the way, is if you're using a team, this is really, really important on your account. 
that you can invite people to your team and be able to download videos and so forth. So you definitely want to have a paid subscription if you're going to be outsourcing and you're going to be having other people do some of the video creation process. So then all we need to do here is just export our video. We're going to export it into 1080 and it's going to do this relatively quick. It only takes a few minutes and you will have your video ready for upload. Now let's talk about the upload process. When you're actually uploading into YouTube, you want to make sure that you have a good title, which you should already have done. We make sure that we tag hashtag shorts. You could put that in the title or as long as it's somewhere in the description, YouTube will identify that as a short. Now you also want to use tags or hashtags in here. You can use some descriptive content as well to see if that'll help boost things. We want to create playlists. So make sure that you put things into the appropriate playlist if possible to build out and organize your channel. And of course, then we just push it live. One of the things that's not often talked about is where and when it's appropriate to start placing affiliate links in your descriptions and in your comments. There is no definitive answer on this one, but I do recommend that you build up your channel and your relationship with YouTube a little bit before you start uh, dropping in affiliate links everywhere. You might want to wait for a little bit, a few weeks, maybe even a month, and just start to build up your subscribers so that YouTube actually sees this as a legitimate channel and not something that is just pumping out massive amounts of AI content. So they don't really like that too much, especially if it's not delivering value and everything is just stock. You might also considering changing things up, using different voiceovers, using some stock photography and video footage, but also mixing in some other things such as mid-journey content or using Microsoft Designer for your imagery just to make sure that you're keeping things fresh, but always try to deliver as much value as you can and always track your numbers so you can see what people are responding to what kind of content is performing well and double down on it so you can continue growing your channel. So this is one of the fastest ways to generate passive income online. You can do this at high volume. And once you figure out what's actually working, you can turn it over for someone else to actually do all of the behind the scenes work for you as you monitor it and make sure that the channel is continuing to move in the right direction. And of course, once everything is working well, you can start another channel and repeat this exact process. So this is an awesome way to generate your passive income streams and build up an empire of online income. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel, get notified anytime a new video comes up so we can start building your passive income streams together. Thanks for watching.